so I flew Mint once before. Um, really, really nice experience. This time going from New York to Los Angeles. Let's check out the menu. First of all, cocktails. You get the mint condition or Al Pastor Margarita. Love it when there's non-alcoholic option cocktails. Menu is coffee and tea, drip coffee, tea, parting gift of chocolate covered cashews. Uh, small place, choose three of five. Oh, that's hard. Definitely steak, definitely lasagna. Yeah, can I get a burrata, the uh, lasagna and um, flat iron steak, please. Thank you so much. You can only pick three? Yeah. <laughs> Food here, at least from last time's experience, it's gonna be awesome. So even though I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning, not gonna miss dinner. Screen, very nice. You get dry TV. Controls for your seat. There's a massage option. There's a relax option. Also, the seat cushion. This feels like a like a almost like an air mattress. Very very nice. Charging station. Water right there. Circles in the bag. Coconut oil packets. So this is like a makeup remover slash face body moisturizer slash shaving and beard balm slash like slash like a thousand things. Honey lozenges, pair of socks, collagen drink, and miracle mist. Very nice. Mint connection. Pretty good. I think it's almost food time. This looks really, really, really good. First of all, bread, olive oil, sea salt flakes. This is this is what I love about Jeff Blue. They have hot oil. There's the burrata, the steak, lasagna. Everything looks pretty darn good. Ooh, this cheese looks delicious. I think there's some tomatoes on the side. like a restaurant in this guy. I'm very excited about this lasagna. Look at this. I think there's some spinach inside. Mm. Mm. That lasagna is amazing. So deliciously cheesy with that nice crunch from the spinach. Wow. I mean, that's already spicy on its own, but let's add the chili oil. Let's just add the chili royal everywhere. And the cheese as well, why not? If I remember correctly, the JetBlue chili royal is pretty darn good. Mmm. Even better. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Putting into the steak has some nice color on the inside. I kind of expected that steak to be a little tough. That is a tender piece of steak. Food on mints is out of this world. I mean, that's two for two, knocking it out of the park. Food is just, doesn't even taste like plain food. I feel like I'm in a restaurant in the sky. Oh, stand. Some peach ice cream. Some really good peach ice cream. I almost wish this flight was longer so I could eat twice. All right, I gotta eat up. I've been up since 4 a.m. So food, bed, Los Angeles. Huh, what is this? 
this was left in the room. This is just a bag of pistachios and chips that is expired. Well, that's never happened before. A laundry bag full of random snacks and water. We first walk into a hotel room. Am I gonna find a surprise in the bathroom too? Yeah, I'll just take it. So just got to Santa Barbara. This is where the shoe for the show is. First time here, apparently the uni here is where you gotta get when you're in Santa Barbara. The uni and the crap fat. But after the shoot and, and a quick nap, it's pretty late already. Uh, this is one of the few places that's open. It's called the Black Sheep Restaurant. I came here because they had, they had this dish with uni and ramen. Fortunately, they don't have that anymore, but they did have this. It's a bone marrow bruschetta. Look at this. Big chunks of bone marrow. It looks like panko on top. And it's like preserved pear on the side. This looks, this looks so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is a juicy, fatty bruschetta. Oh my God. Oh, this is freaking amazing. Mmm, this is a fancy -ish. Probably one of the best tasting for I ever put in my mouth. I mean, you definitely need some of that salad. Cause this thing is fatty in all the best way possible. Just a tip, when that thing goes into your mouth, grab a napkin because the juice will start running everywhere. Wow. Peach. Nice sweetness, a little acid to counteract the bone marrow. This is really, really, really good. Entree is this noodle dish. Look at this. Snapper with uh, seaweed on top. Skin is seared perfectly crispy. Rice noodles on the bottom with, a, with some carrot, cilantro, sprouts. Inside, oh, inside this fish is pretty rare. And they give you a spoon for this. Mm, this is so freaking good. Wow, this restaurant is pretty awesome. I didn't expect it to be that spicy. My mouth is burning up. Ooh, the spice is coming from the broth. Mmm, oh, there's tons of chilies in here. Rice noodles, interesting base um, for this fish, but it works great. It's nice and chewy, got some crunch from the sprouts, the carrots, the seaweed. Mmm, take a bite and then chase it with the broth for a ton of heat. Wow, that was really, really, really good. I mean, this restaurant, these dishes are really interesting. I highly recommend this place. Another sunny day here in Los Angeles. Heading to Chicago today. First, some breakfast. Final meal in Los Angeles, it's gotta be Mexican food. I'm here in the fashion district and I heard a lot about this restaurant right here. It's been operating for over 30 years. Mex Peru Gypsy.
Before it's even taken my first bite, I already know I'm gonna love this place. I mean, this smells so incredible. This, the restaurant is actually a, a combination of Mexican slash Peruvian food. Uh, that's why I had to get the classic Peruvian dish, Lomo Saltado. I haven't had this in such a long time. This is so awesome. Mm. I love everything about this. This fry soaked up all that delicious gravy. The beef, so tender. There's nice crunch from the onions, sweetness from the tomatoes. This dish is aromatic, has so much depth and just bursting with umami. The rice is absolutely perfect. Oh wow, I just had a combination bite of onions, potatoes tomatoes and beef so getting all that texture combined plus that amazing sauce mind-blowingly good also they have hot oil so my dish added to the lomo saltado combining the rich flavor of the sauce and giving it more heat You guys gotta come and try this. You gotta add the hot oil. It's hard pressed to find a more satisfying bite of food anywhere. Triple wow. Wow, wow, wow. How could I have been in LA so many times without coming here? This is blowing my mind with every single bite. I gotta try everything really quick and finish the food because i um, rushing to the airport right now. So this dish is called Tyrena's Verdes. It's pesto pasta with cheese on top and of course a steak on the side. This pasta is so good. They used evaporated milk, so you get that nice touch of sweetness. Mm. On top of the creaminess. Wow. The steak is fried, so it's got that nice char. Also, however they marinated the steak, that flavor is steep through and through. Again, bringing the hot oil to the party here. I don't know if it calls for it or not, but their hot oil is delicious. I mean, that heat is for real. Mm. Oh man, this plate, a little heavy, but you won't want to stop eating this. Pair the food with some Inca Cola. I feel like I'm right back in Peru. Finally, had to get a Mexican dish too. They recommended the chicken torta. And I see them seizing this thing like crazy, so I'm excited for this bite. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that chicken is flavored so well. Mm. The bread is soft and toasty. The chicken got a little spice to it, a little chipotle seasoning. You got the refreshing tomatoes, the crunch of the vegetables. This is good. I know how to make it better. Take the sandwich, dunk it into the Lomo Sotado sauce with some of that nice hot oil, just to raise this flavor profile up even more. Not saying the chicken tortilla wasn't good to begin with, but you can't waste that sauce. Mm. That's the ultimate combo. Amazing tortilla with that sauce. Just smothered all over it. Food here is so good. I think my favorite, if you come here, Lomo Saltado, add the hot oil, it's breathtaking. This will definitely be a place I go to a lot whenever I'm back in LA. Seriously, come here, give it a try. Ooh, I got about 10 minutes left to finish all this, so see you at the airport. All right, so the journey back is gonna be on United Polaris First Class. This is going from Los Angeles to Chicago. Never flew United First Class before domestic. Let me show you around. There's a little storage space right here where you have your headphones and a little mirror. Remote control, power source, a little light. I don't know what this is. Armrest that will go down once you lay your bed flat. Controls are really simple. You use this little turn switch to go from sitting up to laying down. A little function here to give you some back support. Both here. Pretty good sized screen with a really good amount of movies. Oh, this thing just keeps going and going. Little storage space here, charger here. Table here. 
So unlike the Min Flight, there's no travel pack. They don't really give you much of anything. Not even a pillow or blanket. Make sure you close and open your compartment without placing your bag sideways. Not the side bathroom side is giant. This is a really good sized bathroom. Once again, if you just join us, please uh, take your time out now to download. Nice move lighting too. I just went um, back one to, I think maybe that's premium economy class right behind the business class seats. Those are really big size, nice seats. Those are probably the size of a regular domestic first class seats for a typical airline. And the bigger bathroom I showed you was actually for back there. And if you go to the front for the business class Polaris bathroom, it's really tiny. I actually just got tickets for that. I say much more worth it. So the two choices were Italian rag grill over planta or grilled chicken over rice. Based on the pictures, the chicken looks better. Food is served, grilled chicken over rice, little pretzel roll, little tart, I think? Some fruits. Salt and pepper and butter. Pretzel roll is hot, it's always nice. Oh, that's some soggy rice on the bottom. The chicken has a Mysterious herb on top. The chicken itself is not bad. It's pretty tender and juicy. The flavor is not too shabby either. Never mind, that's a really dry piece. The rice is just really watery and soggy. It's corn, beans, some tomatoes in here. Probably the best thing about that is how spicy it is. I still think this chicken is probably a better option than the ragu though. But I think the best thing here might just be this, this tart. Oh, that's a warm and gooey chocolate tart. This is delicious. Mm. That's the best thing on this trip. I would trade my chicken for a couple more of these. This is of course a flight from LA to Chicago. So I think flights from California to New York. I think they do come with a travel bag with some simple lotion inside. The food may be a little better. And I know before the pandemic, the Polaris Lounge, which I featured in a couple videos before, is amazing. The buffet is fantastic. There's a sit-down service where you can order anything off the menu. I'm talking about scallops, quality burgers. Right now, uh, all the lounges are closed. I think LAX, every single lounge is closed. This food, at least on this route, is very, very mediocre. And I think what they used to give you was a, was a Sunday service on Polaris where they're literally wheeling like, like a Sunday bar as dessert. Again, I'm not sure if there's a huge difference between this route and uh, flying cross country. But at least on this route, this is what you get. There's no pillows, there's no blankets. The seat is really, really comfortable. I feel like my head on this cushion, it feels like an airy pillow. So I like the seating space. I, I like the comfort of the seats. The entertainment selection is fantastic. Food, not so much, except for this. This is great. Hi. A couple last thing I want to say about the flights. The United flight is pretty comfortable. I think on the on the longer routes, when you're actually going across the country, they do provide a travel pack, uh, blankets, pillows, but not on this flight. Food on this flight was very mediocre, but I like the seats. I like how much space they give you. The staff was incredibly friendly. There's a lot of selections of movies, TV shows, but the food really wasn't there. Mint, it's just... It's just awesome. Food, comfort, staff, entertainment, everything about it, the ambiance. It's just so great. And I think uh, comparing these two flights, the mint flight actually cost me less than the United flight. So if you are ever considering between the two, highly recommend Mint. And like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been working with HelloFresh for years now. It's a meal kit that I love for so many reasons. Number one being, it's actually delicious. I don't think I've had a single bad recipe with HelloFresh. And that makes sense because they have more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you're gonna get something delicious. I also love it because it saves me time. I hate going to the supermarket. 
I always over shop and honestly, I'm kind of impatient, but I'm hungry. I, I just want my food. With HelloFresh, they offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals. The ingredients are pre-portioned, which means that there's less food waste, there's less prep time. Basically, you get to eat faster. Also, HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes, so you can indulge in delicious meals without the worries. So if you are interested, go to my link down below. Use my promo code DUMPLING16. Dumpling must be all caps for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes and free shipping. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.